back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a first impression demo review and swatches on the new e.l.f. Bite Size Face Duos. I have three of the shades to swatch and try on the face for you guys. It is a highlight and blush duo. So if you're interested in seeing my review, demo, first impression, and swatches of the new e.l.f. Bite Size Face Duos, then just keep on watching. This launch does include eight little duos, um, a different blush shade and a highlighter shade in each duo. I decided to order four so I could review half of the collection or line of products for you, but one of the products actually didn't ship with my order, so I've been in customer, I've been in contact with Elf's customer service about that, which is very sad because it was the shade or the duo that I was most excited for. So I'll show you the three that I have and hopefully I will eventually get that fourth shade or fourth duo because it looks stunning. That there is the Guava Duo, the super bright blue toned pink and then the champagne gold highlight. That is the one that I ordered but did not receive for this video. And then the duos that I do have to review for you today are the lychee duo, the white peach duo, and then we have the watermelon duo. All right, so the details of this product are as follows. Get on the go cheeky glow with these highlighter, bronzer, and blush powder duos. So I guess some of them are bronzer. I didn't really see any that looked like a bronzer shade. Each palette features complementary shades that are highly pigmented and versatile for every skin tone. Each palette comes with two highly pigmented complementary shades, mix of matte and shimmer shades of blush, bronzer, and highlighter, easily blendable formula, perfect size for on the go. And then scrolling down to the review section, it seems that eight people so far have reviewed the product with five stars and one person gave one star. And the person who didn't like it was um, said that their product was completely shattered. So that's not really the product's fault. So, so far they seem to have some pretty good reviews. So that's exciting. Let's first get into the swatches and then we will try them out on my actual complexion. First up for the swatches, we have the Lychee Duo. So this one has a kind of mid-toned, more terracotta, pink, warm, neutral, nudish blush. There's so many colors in there, I don't know how to describe it, and it seems to be a matte from what I can tell. And then the highlight in this duo is a little bit more bronze champagne. Probably going to be too deep for me, but you can always use the highlighters in these duos as a blush topper. Here we have the Lychee duo swatched on my arm. So we have the blush, definitely fully matte, super pigmented, a little more nude and deep than I thought it was going to be, but it looks absolutely gorgeous, very creamy, and then that highlight is definitely going to be a touch too dark for me, but they both look really, really pretty. Now we have the duo in white peach. I think this name is so cute. Um, looking in the viewfinder, the blush looks much more orange on camera than it does in person. Both of them have a little bit more orange warmth to them than is showing up in person, but the blush is definitely very peachy, very warm, orangey, yellow, and then this highlight is probably the one that will work best for me. It looks like a nice light rose gold. That there is how the white peach duo swatches next to the lychee duo, so the blush is super, super bright. Um, I am getting a little bit more powderiness with this duo, especially with the highlight there, but the highlight is a nice light rose gold kind of champagne shimmer which will probably suit me the best of the bunch but we'll see how the next one looks. Then lastly we have this duo in watermelon. This blush looks like it could have some sheen or shimmer to it. So far the other two have been matte and this um, highlight shade looks a little more pink. I think this blush is going to be my favorite of the bunch. Here we have all of these swatches with the watermelon duo on the far right. Um, the highlight it looks like it's a little bit hard to see. It is a little bit more orange and pink of a highlight, a little bit powdery as was the last one, but that blush looks absolutely gorgeous. I think the blushes definitely stand out to me and look more appealing than the highlights at this point. Those swatches look very promising. They do look a little bit powdery, so I wanted to show you some of the kickback in the pan. Hopefully 
you can see that a little bit there so the blushes are a little bit more powdery and have some kickback to them they don't swatch super super creamy but that is also probably because they are a matte formula typically my blushes most of the blushes in my collection are a shimmer formula have a little bit of a sheen sparkle whatever it is they have some other agent to help with the swatch and application look a little more smooth but these ones are all matte so it makes sense why they would have that the highlights have however do look a little bit not like chunky but they look a little bit powdery I don't know if you'll able you'll able to tell I don't know if you'll be able to tell there but they do look a slight bit powdery typically in my makeup application routine I like to do a bronzer and then highlight and then blush so that's how I'm going to do it today I just find that it makes the makeup look more seamless that way it's easier to blend everything in I kind of blend at the end with the blush I use that to blend everything together so that's what we're going to do today we're going to do a highlight first so these are the three highlights and the three blushes next to each other I think this one in the white peach duo is the lightest and then I might mix in a tiny touch of the pinkier one from the watermelon duo but I think that one in the middle is just too dark for me like there's no way that's going to be a highlight on me. So yeah I'm going to start off with the white peach highlight. I do have a glowy setting spray on all over my face at the moment so that's why my face looks a little more glowy and dewy up here but I don't have any highlight on. That's just the setting spray that I've been using. Ooh, that looks really pretty actually. Looks super, super smooth on the face. I'm really getting into my mirror and looking and it looks super, super smooth. Very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit on my nose as well. Nose highlight I have to be especially careful with and same with my upper lip Cupid's bow highlight because if it's a little too dark, it just looks weird and awful. Um, I usually have to go a little lighter in tone with my nose highlight or my Cupid's bow highlight. So far so good. I really am enjoying the highlight from the um, white peach duo. Now I'm just gonna go into the highlight in the watermelon duo and we're gonna try it on this side of my face. If I don't like it, we can put the white peach one on top. I feel like you can't really tell on the camera, but the watermelon highlight is a good amount pinker. Um, it's quite pink actually, which I don't mind as long as it's a deeper pink and not a super cool toned pink. Um, so we'll see how this looks. I feel like with highlight, it's a little more difficult to tell that you've applied a different one, whereas blush is so pigmented and opaque, like more opaque, so it's easier to tell. But I can't really see a huge difference between these. This definitely isn't too dark for me. It has, ooh, it actually on the face, the pinker one from the Watermelon Duo shows up lighter than the one from the White Peach. It has a pink shift to it. I really like that. I don't know which one I like more. This one, the White Peach one, is definitely a little darker than I thought that it was going to be. And this one's a little lighter than I thought that it was going to be. Um, I like both. The formula feels very similar. So you get a little bit of powder and kickback in the pan. But on the face, it glides on very smoothly and looks very bright, glowy, skin-like. I'm into that, especially for like, technically each product in here is $1.50. So $1.50 for a highlight that looks like that. Not mad at it at all. Now we gotta pick blushes. Since I have three, I only have one face, so we're gonna have to do some mixing here. Um, I do want to see though what this one looks like on its own because this is the one that I seem to be most gravitating towards. You guys know I like a lot of blush so I'm going to try to build this up and go with less product at first. Ugh, that shade is so pretty. I love blush so much. And I like to blend my blush up a little bit as well. Just make sure everything is blended together. That is so pretty. That's like my ideal pink blush shade and I really like it with that highlight as well so that watermelon duo for three dollars I am a big fan that blush looks really nice smooth buildable pigmented on the face it doesn't look patchy and too matte which I was slightly worried about but it looks really really nice now I'm going to go in with the orange blush on this side because I want to see what this one looks like on its own and then I think we'll do the more mid-toned pink on top of the brighter pink from watermelon that 
that makes the most sense to me. I'm going to actually take a different brush for this one. I should have done that with the highlight, but I only really have one go-to highlight brush. So this is the uh, Pro Sephora 55.5 Mini. It doesn't really have anything on it. So I'm going to go in to the orange and the white peach duo which again goes with the highlight. So, so far we haven't tried anything from the Lychee Duo. That's because it's a little bit darker, but I will try the blush in just a second. Wow, that is very pigmented. Okay. Ooh, I normally don't like a peach blush on me. So an orange blush would normally be like a hard no, but the shade looks really, really pretty and like for the fall, especially for Halloween. I think this would be a really cute look with like a darker lipstick. I'm gonna keep talking about the price, but especially for $1.50, this shade isn't one that you often find in the drugstore at all, let alone find super pigmented. Like it shows up as it does in the pan. So I think for that specific unique color and for this formula from what I've seen so far, I'm impressed. I'm just gonna block this. This is how the white peach duo looks on me so far. So we have the blush and the highlight as well. And then this is how the watermelon duo looks on me with the blush and the highlight for that one. Now we are going to try this lychee blush. As I said, the bronzer isn't gonna, the bronzer. The, it's basically a bronzer for me. The highlight that's a little bit darker, like there it looks lighter, but when you go like that, it's pretty dark. Too dark for me, certainly I cannot get away with that. Could be a pretty bronzer topper, although I usually like, mm, I wouldn't want a bronzer that shimmery. Could be an eyeshadow for me, but honestly for $1.50, if I love the blush, it's still worth having purchased. So I'm going to try and add this lychee blush up on top of the watermelon blush. This is just gonna add a little bit of depth and warmth as well. Okay, so that is what the lychee blush looks like on top. I think that's honestly too much blush for even me. It's really pretty though. The highlights are like, I feel like drugstore already does highlights pretty well and I have so many highlights that I love, but blushes, especially in different shades and to have a matte blush that's creamy on the face, I think the blush is a little more of the standout in this duo launch um the highlights are pretty and i will use them for sure but i think the blushes are just absolutely stunning i am going to go over with a pressed powder go over this a little because we look a little bit intense for even me and i love my blush i really like these for my skin tone personally like if you're as fair as me i think that the lychee shade or the lychee duo would be a little bit deep for you for very fair skin watermelon and white peach are very very pretty both the highlights and the blush work in here for me and i would definitely recommend especially at that three dollar price tag. So with that, that is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like, a thumbs up. Let me know that you enjoyed it. It really helps me out when you let me know what videos that you like to see. As well, if you aren't already subscribed, I would really appreciate if you did so. You can also turn on your notifications if you want to be notified every time that I upload a video. That is everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you have an absolutely awesome awesome day. Bye!